Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to look at how to run a web server in 2022. So first off we're gonna switch over to my screen here. So here we see that we have a web server, it's running, I can add a note here and I can remove things and I can reload this one and this is how we typically think about things working in a web server. It is a single uh, HTML file, it's a simple web server, it's not really anything extra and usually it, to get this to work well you needed to either build your own little web server that could handle this, you can work and debug with it, or you use Python for instance, which has a built-in web server, or you can use PHP, which has a built-in web server. But on Windows, for instance, do you always have those languages? Perhaps you're not writing any code in PHP or Python. Maybe you don't have that platform, but you still want to work with a web server. Well, what if I said that you can do that in Java? Yeah, so in JDK 18, it's actually scheduled to have this feature built in. It's a lady named Julia Bo that actually works on getting this into the JDK. And in the uh, snapshot that I downloaded and uh, built for myself, it's actually available, so you can now try it out if you like, but it will be in 18. So let's start a new web server here. Go over to my screen here and we say in my JDK directory and here I have built something, so in my build directory and then we have a Linux version, images, JDK, bin, Java, version. Here we see that we have the JDK 18 internal for 2022-03-15. So that's the release date that they are actually looking for releasing this. So uh, it's uh, scheduled to be released. So then we will have this web server. So how do we start it? Then? We can actually just type M that as in module. And we want to run the module JDK HTTP server and there is a bunch of parameters that we could put in so for instance if I just start this I will get a local host web server but for most cases you want to use an interface that is actually outside and as this is an, a virtual box I will not be able to use localhost so I want to have a real uh, real port so a real um, IP so then I can do 00, zero. Zero, 00 and I can also set port 8080 for instance and then I will get the current IP 8080 and if I go to that address here we copy it out and then go over here paste it in and then run it we will have hello explorers and one thing that I was a little bit sad about when it comes to this is that I actually have an index uh, JSP here and I thought maybe it could run JSP files but in this case it will only download that file so the server is not really ready for running Java server pages and when you look at how to actually run that you need to install an application server like Jetty or so on so there is a lot of different uh, enterprise grade application servers that you can install in order to run Java server pages and get all that functionality so it's not the same as running it just a PHP script of course but I'm still a little bit sad that you can't really debug and work with Java server pages but perhaps that's just because it's an enterprise function that it's not really included in this package so if this is more meant if you wanted to write a web server or wanted to write a website and debug different JavaScript libraries that might need to call back and uh, have different functionalities on disk and so on, then you will use this kind of thing to get that up and running. 
So I thought this was really interesting when I saw that this would be implemented and added to the next Java version because I have always downloaded Python to my machine in order to have this functionality because I do some web development. So I need some kind of web server that I need to start for that. Are you excited for this feature? Do you think it's a good one? Do you think there is something missing when you don't have Java service pages? Or do you think that this is totally unreal uh, and it should not be in the Java kernel because it's not really a functionality that Java programmers need or anything like that. I want to know your opinion about this so leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you like this video or give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues and if you like this kind of feature then give um, a like to this feature as well on GitHub if you want. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that and I really hope to see you in the next video.